Hello everyone and welcome back. This is day 11 of Love Island the game and we are about to see what we have in store for us today. We had an interesting day yesterday but let's get the recap from our narrator himself. Thank you so much everyone for watching and being a part of this series. This day is called A Villa Divided. Obviously Operation Nope was the cause of that. The Party Part 2. Drama is going down as the party reveals some home truths. Let's find out more. Welcome back to Love Island. Tensions in the villa have been skyrocketing since Em blew the whistle on Priya's feelings for Noah. So we thought we'd throw a party to calm everyone down. Only to have two new islanders crash it because this is still Love Island, people. Hi, ladies. And what kind of new islanders would they be if they didn't immediately drop a truth bomb on a kiss? Did you kiss Priya and lie to me? No, not that kiss, the other kiss. Then how did you end up snogging Gary? Come on guys, there was a tweet about it and everything. But who am I to stand in the way of the true drama? Let's pick up right where we left off. The Ministry of Sound Party. The new girl is about to kick up a storm. So why does Gary look so nervous? All eyes are on Chelsea. She's clearly excited to drop the news. Lottie, you were supposed to be Hannah's closest friend in here. I was. Then how did you end up snogging Gary? Right after Hannah got dumped. Hannah and Gary were coupled up and Hannah and Lottie were friends. And Lottie cracked on with Gary as soon as Hannah was out of the picture. Ibrahim shoots Gary a look. Bruh. One by one, the islanders turn to stare at Lottie. So it's confirmed then. Gary and Lottie kiss the night that Hannah was dumped. Well, this is about to kick off, isn't it? In three, two, the base of Marisol's champagne flute hits the table with a thud. So it was you who kissed Gary after the recoupling. Thought as much. Lottie's face turns beetroot red. Her hair falls in front of her face. Jacob cuts in just as she's about to speak. What's all this then? I thought we were having a party. I've got some fit girls I want to get chirps in with. Yeah, I think maybe we should give these girls some space. Smart idea. I'm not in the mood to have my evening ruined. All my party people on me. Jacob breaks into an energetic jog. Damn it, there goes the new boy. As if reading your mind, he stopped. It looks back at you, nodding towards your outfit. Sweet gums, Em. Oh, thanks, Jacob. Without waiting for your reply, he disappears off towards the villa. This new guy, not really my type. The others can have him. I think I'll be needed here for a while anyway. The other islanders follow behind Jacob. Gary starts walking over to Lottie, but Noah shakes his head and catches him by the arm, leading him away. Soon it's just you, Priya, Chelsea and Lottie. And then there were four. There's a moment of silence. Priya paces back and forth, her heel wrapping sharply against the decking. So you're telling me that after all your ranting about girl code and after everything you said about me, this whole time you were just sitting on the fact that you'd kissed your supposed best friend's guy. Not even afters after she was out of the picture. Yeah, that's like totes what it looked like, babes. Lottie shoots a glare at Chelsea. It was one kiss. Yeah, well, I haven't kissed anyone I wasn't supposed to and yet I'm still the bad guy in your eyes. Not for lack of trying. Well, you just went one further than trying with Gary, didn't you? There's a loud splash. You glance over and see the others jumping into the infinity pool, laughing and splashing around. They look like they're having fun. Bria stops pacing and comes to stand in front of Lottie, crossing her arms. I think you need to tell us what happened. Oh, I can tell you that. Thanks, babes, but I want to hear it from her. Lottie averts her gaze. I don't want to talk about it. Why? Because you realise you've been a massive hypocrite. Priya really wants to know the details of that kiss. She doesn't have to tell us. She evidently doesn't want to. What she wants doesn't matter at this stage, babes. She doesn't get to do stuff like that and still go around being judgy about everyone else. Maybe I'd be happy to say what happened if you weren't getting all up in my face about it. Priya groans, tugging at her hair in frustration. Do you realise Hannah's probably watching all of this? Like, she has definitely seen that kiss. Can confirm. You guys too should have seen the tweet, she. Priya steps up to Lottie, narrowing her eyes. What if she were here now? What would you even say? There's a brief shriek. There's a shriek from the infinity pool. You look over and see Jacob whirling hope in the air above his head. Everyone's having such a great time getting to know Jacob and we're still here arguing about a kiss. Look, it's not even that important. Real talk. It's been over a week since Hannah left and she literally knew Gary for three days. Probably too busy with a new modeling career or something to even care. It happened ages ago. Hannah left ages ago. Let's just drop her. Finally. I don't need any of this from any of you. But babes, we all saw you, you, especially you. Like if you've got a problem with me, just say so. But don't have it out for me before you've even spoken to me. But I don't, I'm an acquired taste. If you don't like me, acquire some taste. 
See you later, girls. Lottie saunters off just as Henrik, Gary, Bobby, and Ibrahim come up the steps. Oh, that's so Lottie. She'll get over it, but for now, us girlies should be getting our party vibes going. Chelsea trots over to the drinks table, ignoring the boys huddled nearby. Gin o'clock? Aw, no gin. Actually, I think the guys are hoping to speak to you. Well, the guys can wait then, can't they? She throws him a wink as she unscrews the top of her bottle. She turns to Priya. Large or extra large? But Priya ignores her. She heaves a sigh of exasperation. I'm sorry, you guys. I hope you know I'm not always this extra. Oh, don't worry. I totally already know that. You're like so chill. Priya just apologized to us. Look, don't be silly, hun. It's not your fault. Well, thanks for saying that. I'm just through with it all. She gets up and walks back towards the villa without another word, leaving you and Chelsea staring at one another. That was sudden. There's a moment of silence before Gary steps towards you both. Good time to cut in, girls. Figured us lads were being a pretty weak welcome wagon for the new girl. Aw, that's so cute. You guys want to get to know me? Well, yeah. That's adorable. But I'm afraid it'll have to wait. My girl Em and I were going to have some bonding time, weren't we, Em? Uh, exactly. Yep. Move on, boys. I'm keeping Chelsea all to myself. You heard the girl. Shoo, shoo. She chases them off before walking back over to the drinks table and pouring out another glass of bubbly. She hands it to you. It's so weird being in here with you guys. Like, even before now, I felt like I knew all of you already. Like, we could just go out for Pinot Grigio's, like, tomorrow. That time when Lucas and Henrik came in and you just, like ran down without telling anyone. I was like, that's my girl. Chelsea feels like she knows us already, but we've only just met her. Talking about go for Pinot Grigio's, well, I prefer champagne. OMG, totally. I absolutely knew you'd prefer the bubbly. You're so classy, like I can't even. Chelsea waves a dismissive hand. From the corner of your eye, you see the boys make their way back up the steps towards you both. They hover at a safe distance, glancing over. Whatever. I wanted to talk to you about this whole Lottie situation. Like, obviously I just said it because it was interesting, and obviously she's taking it as this big personal issue, which by the way is such a Lottie thing to do. But like, how bad was it really? How bad? Well, from the outside I saw Lottie and I was like, we're totes gonna be BFFs, but now I'm like, I'm not so sure. How bad is the situation between Lottie and Chelsea? Well, she'll come around. Do you think though? She bites her lip in thought. You know her better than I do. How can I get on her good side? I think you have to... I think... I don't know. I think that just apologising is always a good answer, but I think I'm going to, say, explain to her. Tell her what you told me, that it wasn't personal, if that's true. Yeah, that's a good idea. Chelsea nods resolutely. Thanks, Em, I'll try that. She puts down her glass. The boys start to move in, but scramble again at the sound of approaching heels. Lottie's eyes are puffy. Her makeup is smudged beneath them. Has she been crying? What happened? She marches up to Chelsea, looking her straight in the eye. Why me? You could have said something about anyone. It's so clear that you have it out for me. So just say so. Chelsea risks a glance in your direction. No, don't look at her. Look at me. Why me? You nod encouragingly. There's a pause. Chelsea gets to her feet, avoiding Lottie's puffy eyes. It wasn't specifically aimed at you, babe. I just didn't think it would be such an issue. You and Gary are together now though, right? So when Priya asked what I knew, I just said the first thing that came into my head. For a moment, there's silence. Chelsea's lips start to curve into a smile. Lossie's expressions darken. So you're not even going to apologize? You expect me to believe? Someone clears their throat. Is this a bad time? Oh, thank goodness. This is an absolute cluster, babes. Well, I was actually hoping I could steal you away, Em. And finally give those poor guys a chance to talk to Chelsea. She rolls her eyes. The boys standing nearby glance over with eager expressions. I'm not done here. Save it until tomorrow, Lottie. Chelsea's only just arrived and she's already had enough of you to last the whole summer. Lottie scowls. She stepped reluctantly away from Chelsea before burying her face in Gary's chest. The other boys move in. Don't act too keen. Henrik isn't exactly hiding his excitement about the new girl. It's only because she's new. If a turtle walked in here, they would be the same. Marisol sighs. You too, Bobby. Fine. Bobby drags himself away from Chelsea and follows you and Marisol back to the kitchen. Marisol sits across from you at the breakfast bar. The milk steamer roars as Bobby fixes you both a hot chocolate. So uh, that was interesting. Like, I think of party and I think smiling, dancing, and maybe no work on the day beds, that sort of thing. Which wasn't far off what we had going down at the pool, to be fair. Noah is something special, I'll give you that. You look over towards the pool. Jacob, Hope, and Noah are still chatting and laughing together. But that argument! 
I wasn't loving the argument. Marisol nods in agreement. <sighs> this was always gonna happen. New Islanders always have something spicy to say. The fact that it was about Lottie just took it from a mild Jalfrezi to a full-blown Vindaloo. And it's not like things were stable before. That's the thing though. It's all just getting a little bit too much. First we're jumping from one feud to the next and now there are two going on at the same time. Maybe it's time the sensible people tried to sort it out, you know? What do you think? Marisol thinks she, Bobby and I should be the ones to sort out the villa drama because we're sensible. Us, sensible. You nod towards Bobby. Have you met this joker? Well, now I'm just imagining the wanted posters with pictures of me in clown makeup. Kind of proving her point here. I'll have you both know I'm extremely capable of being serious when it suits me. Bobby puts on a haughty expression. I asked Bobby because underneath the jokes, I know he really does care about people and wants what's best for everyone. Plus, he's close to Lottie, so he may have a better chance of getting through to her. Same goes for you, Em. Fair enough. Obviously, there are two different things going on right now. Whatever that was between Lottie, Chelsea and Priya, and this Noah business between Priya and Hope, I figured that's been put on the back burner, so unless any obvious opportunities arise, we tackle the stuff with Lottie first, agreed? That's our strategic priority. Yes, sir. Um, will you try and get Lottie and Chelsea in a room? It doesn't have to be an actual room, obviously. Just get them both to give their side of the story about what happened last night. Talk about their feelings, make sure no one gets aggy, that sort of thing. And if you could do the same for Lottie and Priya too, that would be great. Marisol wants me to sit down with the girls and get them talking to each other. And what will you guys be doing? I'll try and talk to Priya and Hope separately, and I'll get Bobby talking to Lottie too, maybe Noah. Assuming that sounds good to you, Bobby. Not sure I trust Lottie in enclosed spaces, but sure, that sounds good to me. With a joint effort, we should be able to get everyone back on the same page. At last, Bobby places three mugs of hot chocolate on the table, complete with cream, marshmallows and sprinkles. Voila! Chocolat chaud à la Bobby! Oh! I'm not actually a big fan of hot chocolate. Bobby rolls his eyes. Now you tell me! Who doesn't like hot chocolate? You're gonna cancel my birthday too! Bobby winks at Marisol and slides into a seat at the breakfast bar. A moustache of whipped cream appears on his top lip. Back to business. Are you in, Em? Yeah, that could work. I don't want to. Count me in. Knew I could count on you. What a foot. Foot? You know, a foot. A legend. A legend. This time Marisol rolls her eyes. You in, Bobby? Like a toad in the hall. Perfect. Let's head back inside. As you slide out of your seat, Bobby motions towards Marisol's untouched hot chocolate. You should take it with you. See if anyone else wants it. Someone who appreciates my beautiful creations. Marisol nudges him playfully. A nice mug of hot chocolate might be just the thing to help smooth things over with someone or help me make a new friend. I should think carefully about who I give it to. You take the still warm mug and make your way back to the villa. As you approach the stairs, you spot Hope sitting alone on one of the sofas with her back to you. Last I saw, she was having a laugh with Noah and Jacob by the pool. Hope's shoulders shudder as she buries her face in her hands. She looks so upset. Same as yesterday, I guess. You look down at the mug of hot chocolate. We've not been getting on too well lately. Taking her this hot chocolate might be an opportunity to get the lay of the land. Marisol didn't say I needed to speak to Hope yet, but I'm sure it will win me some brownie points. I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna leave Hope because the hot chocolate should go to someone who Marisol clearly thinks it needs it. Not right now. She probably needs some space anyway. You start to make your way towards the stairs. Your heels click against the tiles. Hope turns around. Busted. Em? Sorry, uh, just turning in for the night. I'll see you in a bit. Hope hangs her head, sniffing. She nods. Yeah, okay then. That's so sad. She turns back around. Wow, she seems really low. You glance down at the hot chocolate. Nope, I'm gonna go upstairs. I'm gonna do it. I'm going. She'll be up there in no time anyway. You carry on walking towards the bedroom. After a few seconds, you hear Marisol's voice. Sounds like Marisol decided to sit with her. It all works out okay. So that's good, because Marisol was saying that she was gonna work stuff out with Hope, right? You walk into the bedroom. The others are tucked away in their duvets, whispering. Bobby runs past you and dive bombs onto the bed, tangling himself in the sheets. A few of the others laugh. I should get ready for bed. Okay, so we're gonna wear... We're gonna wear this. And probably get in trouble for it. Same old jammies. Oh, Em, you're looking as stunning as usual, Em. I love it when you wear that. Thanks, Marisol. You head over to your bed. Henrik beams and makes space on the bed. Come here, you. You glance down at the hot chocolate in your hands. I still need to give this to someone. Who should I give it to? Henrik, Priya, Lottie, Chelsea, or Jacob? Do you know what? I'm gonna give it to Chelsea. OMG, this is total best friend goals. Thanks, baby cakes. The lights go off as you're sliding into bed. All around you are whispers and giggles. A few moments later, you hear Hope creep in and slide into bed beside Noah. 
Emmerich cuddles up to you and gives you a kiss on the shoulder. Good night, beautiful. Coming up, M gets caught between a rock and a hard place. Or in other words, Jacob and Jacob. And Chelsea and Jacob choose their first dates. The first girl I'd like to take on a date is... Don't miss it. What are we thinking so far? Because I will say, Chelsea is a breath of fresh air. I love her so much. But everyone else is kind of doing my head in at the moment. I cannot lie. <laughs> What do you think though? Let me know down in the comments below. Do you think that Henrik is still the right move for us? Let me know. And without further ado, it's time to move on to day 11, part two. You wouldn't know it, but I'm a poet. I think this narrator's rubbing off on me a little bit. We're back and it's day 11, the morning after the night before. It's the morning after the party and the villa is divided once more from the drama last night. I'm not excited. Previously on Love Island. Priya collapsed back at Lottie. This whole time you were sitting on the fact that you just kissed your supposed best friend's guy. Lottie clapped back at Chelsea. I'm an acquired taste. If you don't like me, acquire some taste. Which I still think might be the best line in the whole of this. Until eventually they were clapping by themselves since everyone else had gone to hide from the argument. I think party and I think of smiling, dancing, maybe Noah trying to twerk on the daybeds. Whatever works for you, Bobby. Just to remind you, here's the state of the villa right now. Lottie's coupled up with Gary, Marisol's with Bobby, Priya is with Ibrahim, Noah and Hope are obviously still a thing, obviously, and Em and Henrik are still together. But will things stay that way as New Islanders Chelsea and Jacob enter the mix? Tonight, the New Islanders choose their first dates. You girls sure make it hard. I bet we do, Jacob. <laughs> Sorry. If Em remembers to get out of bed, of course. Wake up, Em. You wake up. Sunlight pours in through the windows. Only half the beds are made, but all of them are empty. Guess I overslept. You walk outside the window and peer outside to see the islanders hanging around in the gym. The girls seem captivated by something Jacob's saying. They didn't waste any time. Guess I'd better head on out there. Just as you're about to get ready, the bathroom door opens. Henrik steps into the room. His skin glistens with moisture, his wet hair sticking to his brow. He comes straight over to you and wraps you up in his arms, kissing you on the forehead. Aww, you're all wet. I'm giving you a pre-shower? Like a shower before you shower. Aha. Uh -huh. He steps back and looks you up and down. He leads you over to the bed and lies down. You flop down beside him. Hey, Em. If you could be any kind of pet, what would you be? I would be something fantastical like a dragon or a unicorn. Anything, anything? Then I want to be something magical like a unicorn. Good choice. I'd like to have this creature called a rata Ratatoska. Ratatoska is a pet? Ratatouille? What's that? Ratatoska. He's a magical squirrel from an old story. I'd be a squirrel. <laughs> we could go climbing together. And he could sit under your hat and help you with your cooking. Maybe. Henrik rolls over. He runs a finger across your lips. Kiss me. Okay, sure, why not? If I'm asked like that, I mean, I kinda do it. As your lips meet, you get a waft of Henrik's chalk and lavender scent, and you can almost feel the sea air blowing across a cliff-top running trail. That's really nice. He kisses your neck. His lips are warm and his skin silky against yours. His touch makes you feel all tingly. You put your arms around him, digging your fingertips into the taut muscles of his back. I like these. My muscles? They're all yours. I could mess with him, or maybe not. Mmm, what else is mine? Well, my hands. He puts his hands on the back of your neck and pulls you in. He leans in slightly and then stops. Uh, you do know they don't literally... Just kiss me! He kisses you again, slowly. You lean into it and enjoy the feeling of his lean, toned body pressed against yours. After some time, he rolls off the bed. Catch you outside in a bit. With a wave, he leaves the room. I should get ready for the day. Okay, I'm gonna get told off for whatever I choose to wear, right? You know, we haven't worn this one yet, I don't think. This is it. This is the one. We're in the gym. Hope and Noah are doing squats side by side. Ibrahim is skipping with a fluorescent pink rope while Henrik spots Gary's deadlifts. Close by is Jacob, lounging on the grass with a single weight held idly at the end of his muscular arm. The others are sprawled on the grass around him, listening to him talk. Everyone's here except Marisol and Bobby. Didn't think I'd find Chelsea, Lottie and Priya sat together like this after last night. Nothing brings people together like a new boy. Hey Em, this is Jacob. He definitely made me speechless that. Damn, you look good in that outfit Em. Ah, oh, thanks Jacob. It would be nice to join the group and get to know Jacob better, but I slept in way too long and there's not much of the morning left. Plus, I promised Marisol and Bobby that I get Lottie, Chelsea and Priya to talk to each other about what happened last night. They'll be really disappointed if I let them down. But then I'll be the only person who hasn't spoken to Jacob. Who should I talk to? 
I do Lottie and Chelsea. I don't really mind about Jacob. Can I chat with you, Chelsea? You too, Lottie. Chelsea darts a glance at Lottie. They both follow you over to the fire pit. You sit down between the two girls, bridging the space. Lottie throws Chelsea a distrustful look. She crosses her arms and legs. So, last night could have gone better? Obviously, Chelsea told all of us about the kiss. And from where I'm standing, it looked like everyone was upset over nothing. Chelsea said Lottie kissed Gary. Like, wow, we don't care. Who kissed who ages ago doesn't even matter anymore? Well, obviously Chelsea thought it was important enough to bring up in front of everyone. So evidently, that's just your opinion. Chelsea's swimsuit is so cute. Look, I'm sorry, Lottie. Please, you couldn't say that last night. You couldn't even look me in the eye. Only because Em said I should explain myself. Lottie's scrutinous gaze falls on you. Chelsea told Lottie that I'm the reason she said what she said to Lottie. Yeah, sorry, that's my bad. On second thought, maybe you should have just apologised. I just did that! Chelsea turns to Lottie. All I want is for us to be friends. I know I messed up, but that's absolutely not who I am at all. Like, I should have just totally just apologised. But like, sooner than I already did? I just want a chance at a second first impression. There's a pause. You look at Lottie. She flicks her hair out of her face and recrosses her legs. There's no such thing as a second first impression, hun. There are first impressions and then there are second impressions. Oh, I know that, like, in reality. But I'm all about second first things this year. You'll see. It's never too late to fix anything. There's always a second first. That's what I like to say. Lottie still looks unconvinced, but she cracks a small half smile. I cross my heart. I cross my heart, never meant to sound like I was attacking anyone. Pinky swear. Chelsea holds up her little finger. Lottie hesitates. Looks like it would take more than Chelsea's reassurance to bring Lottie around. Can Chelsea be trusted? She really means it, babes. Give her a chance. Chelsea beams at you before quickly turning to gauge Lottie's reaction. Lottie sighs. Fine. You're lucky I trust Em's judgement. Lottie gives Chelsea her pinky finger. Finally. Chelsea chats excitedly as the three of you walk back towards the others. Welcome back, girls. I think I have time for one more conversation. I'm going to... Oh, I could just say I'm done talking. To be fair, I really don't fancy sorting out Priya and Lottie. Yeah, I'm done talking. <laughs> well, at least I spoke to some of the girls. That should be worth it. Especially since I got them to make up. Chelsea's phone beeps. OMG, I finally get to say it. Guys, I got a text. The other islanders drop what they're doing and gather around. Marisol and Bobby come running from the villa. Chelsea and Jacob, it's time for your first dates. You must each choose two islanders. Hashtag first date vibes. Hashtag let the singles mingle. Chelsea squeals. Chelsea purses her lips together and looks at each of the boys in turn. Let's see. Hmm. For my first date, I'm going to choose. She wiggles her finger and points. Raheem. Ibrahim looks up, startled. Chelsea beams. Will you go on a date with me, babes? Uh. He looks at Priya. She nods. Yeah, I'm up for that. Amazeballs. The second person I want to take on a date is... Her finger wiggles in the air again. It lingers briefly over Gary before moving over to Hemrick. Lottie visibly relaxes. Hemrick, will you be my second first date, Hemrick? Hemrick looks over to you for approval. What do I do? How do I stay on people's good sides here? I don't know. I'm gonna say have fun. Promise I'll bring him back in one piece. Chelsea spins round to face Jacob. Your turn, babes. We better head inside and get ready. She walks back to the villa with Ibrahim in tow. Jacob looks around. Right, I've done a lot of big thinking about this. And the first girl I'd like to take on a date is... Hope? There are murmurs from the other islanders. All of you turn to stare at Hope. She directs a panicked look at Noah. It's just the date. Go have fun. Jacob chose Hope. He'll need all the luck he can get. They're not going to split up. Priya already tried. Hope heads inside to get changed while Jacob scours the group for a second date. Maybe he'll pick me? Beside you, Priya flicks her hair over her shoulder. Jacob's eyes pass over her and fall on you. Oh my gosh, it might actually happen. You girls sure make it hard. Bobby muffles a laugh. Bobby is my man. There's a squeal as Lottie jabs him with her elbow. Who you stuck between, mate? Uh, Priya and M. Um, Jacob sees the look on your faces and grins. Who shall it be, ladies? Who wants to go on a date with me? He's making us choose. Henrik and I have been doing all right, but maybe I should keep my options open. It's not like I've had any time to see what he's about. And it'd be nice to get out of the villa for a change of scenery. I'm, go I'm not gonna lie. Priya can have him. Priya glances at you. There's a determined look on her face. Looks like I've got some competition. Maybe if we were better friends, she'd be happy to give me this one. Should I nominate myself for a date with Jacob? No. Priya pipes up just as you open your mouth to speak. I'll take you up on that date, Jacob. Sick. I better go get changed.
She hurries off towards the villa. Right. Okay. Next time on Love Island, Henrik and Em get real about their relationship. I want to talk about where we're both at, how we're feeling about being coupled up, that sort of thing. Don't miss it. I feel like for me, is it, is it, was it weird? Was it weird? Was it like a weird time? Because I really feel like that could have gone a lot better. But if you ask me how, like, I can't give you an, I don't know. I, I don't know how. But I could have spoken to Priya and Lottie as well. But am I the only person who gets to this stage? I'm like, I just cannot be bothered with a drama. I just can't. It might be because I've been doing this for three days straight. But I'm really not into the drama anymore. <laughs> especially when none of it concerns us. And especially in the Mean Tweets Challenge, when we got blamed for being in the middle of all the drama. How is that fair at all? And I'm hoping for the best. I really am. We are moving on to Where's Your Head? After all the drama with a capital D, it's time to check in with your main squeeze. Here we go. And hopefully, Henrik's okay too. Previously on Love Island, M picked up where Lottie and Chelsea left off. I just want a chance at a second first impression. Tonight, dates. Chelsea's taking Henrik and Ibrahim, and Jacob's taking Priya and Hope. I'm looking for someone who really knows what she wants, who doesn't let other people get in the way. And Henrik and Em put their relationship under the microscope. I want to talk about where we're both at, how we're feeling about being coupled up, that sort of thing. And we'll get into all that. Or at least that's the way things might go. Once Em finally decides what to wear. When I'm going on a date, I just slap on some aftershave and head out the door. Then again, I'm not normally doing it on national telly. I don't know what to wear. Why am I getting dressed up? You hold up several outfits side by side. Hair dryers roar and straighteners sizzle as the girls get ready for the evening. You really can't afford to get complacent in here. Who knows when the next recoupling will be? Who knows when the next recoupling will be? I don't want this to end yet. I better make sure this outfit is on fleek. Oh, it dated itself again. My gosh. Did you hear that car horn? We're gonna wear this one today. I don't love this outfit. I think this might be one of my least favorites. Well, it's clean. How come you always look so pro, Em? Your fashion sense is on point. Thanks, Priya. Lottie rolls her eyes. You look amazing as always, Em. There's a knock at the door. Henrik peeks through. Do you mind? There could be naked ladies in here. Could there? Then why didn't anyone invite me sooner? Lottie rolls her eyes. Henrik turns to you. Mind if we chat? Sure. You follow him out of the room. You sit down across from him. The firelight casts a flickering orange glow over his skin. I know this is going to sound like it's coming out of nowhere really fast, but I thought we should have a chat and make sure we're both on the same page. Whoa, okay. Should I put in a seatbelt or... Nah, nothing like that. Well, maybe actually. I want to talk about where we're both at, how we're feeling about being coupled up, that sort of thing. How do you reckon the last few days have been? I think we've actually been really strong. Good, that's what I was hoping to hear. Just as long as you know that I'm really happy too. Do you reckon you want to carry on getting to know each other then? Wow, he really wants to make sure we're right for each other. He sounds like he's pretty happy with things, so it's all really down to me and what I want. I can't mess him around though. If I end it, that's it. I say, I want to be with you. Henrik is definitely our best option right now. He breaks into a smile and leans over and kisses you. I'm so happy you said that. My heart was pounding out of my chest. You feel the same way then, right? Yeah, I think so. On paper, we're kind of a mixed bag. I like a big personality who knows she's beautiful without a million layers of foundation. Someone who thinks about others. That doesn't really mean much though. I really like you anyway. Wait, are you saying I'm none of those things? Excuse you. So, we stay together, of course. Assuming you haven't already changed your mind. He laughs nervously, touching a hand to the back of his neck. The fire pit crackles, spitting amber sparks into the darkness. Let's head back inside. Good idea. You let him lead you back into the villa. Time to get ready for bed. I don't know what to wear because I always get told I look ugly in bed. Um, I, I'm going to go for this again. <laughs> You're brushing your teeth in the bathroom when Marisol wanders in. She raises her eyebrows. Hey, Em. Every time I see you wearing that, I'm like planning on how to steal it from you. It looks stunning on you. Thanks, Marisol. I actually think I would steal hers too. I'm going to say something friendly. Huh? You spit out your toothpaste. Toothbrush buddies. The best kind of buddies there is. How's the quest for Villa Peace coming along? I saw you chatting to a few people earlier. Look promising. Yeah, I spoke to Lottie and Chelsea. I thought I saw them laughing together. Now I know why. Nice job. Well, I spoke to Hope about it today. But I think it would take more than me to get through to her. Bobby's had a chat with Lottie, but mainly he's been speaking to Noah today. Fat lot of good that's been given how things are with him and Hope at the moment. But then the villa wasn't built in a day. With that, she saunters out of the bathroom. Her toothbrush lies unused at the side, still loaded with toothpaste. Wait, you forgot? 
but she's gone. You make your way over to the bed where Henrik's waiting for you. He smiles and pulls back the duvet. He snuggles up to you. Time for some bedtime cheekiness? I am feeling naughty, but I still feel like I'm giving Lucas, like, I'm being really ratty to Lucas and he's just left. But it's been like two days since he left. One day. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see what happens if we're feeling naughty. Henrik caresses the back of your neck with his fingers. Mmm, that feels nice. You're a little tense, Em. Would you like me to give you a massage? I'm very good. I'm sure you are. Of course you are. I should have known. He positions himself behind you and starts to rub your shoulders with practice motions. His short, deft fingers seem to draw the tension out and melt it like butter. You relax into it. It's like I'm floating on a cloud. He kisses you on the back of your neck and you turn around to face him. How was that? That was incredible. You're way too good at that. Come here and I'll show you what else I'm good at. You move closer to him. He smells pleasantly earthy. You slip your hands into the waistband of his pants and pull them down. He grabs you by the waist and you both fall into bed in a torrent of kisses. Time passes in a blur. You lie next to each other, hands intertwined. Now I'm even more relaxed. The last thing you see before the lights go out is Marisol running back to the bathroom. Was that it? Can I get an aww for Em and Hemrick? Next time. The Islanders get creative with words. If we tell you guys, you've got to promise not to ruin it. And Em hears something she shouldn't. I just wonder if sometimes I'd be happier with you. Don't miss it. What is happening? Also, can I just say, Hemrick and I, did Hemrick and Em sleep together or were they just getting a bit frisky? And I feel like they were maybe just getting a bit handsy, a bit frisky. I don't think they actually slept together because when they sleep together, the animation usually goes to black, doesn't it? And then there's like the whole or just black background. But let me know what you think happened down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this part, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to see more. Turn on your notifications so you know whenever I upload a video. And I'm going to move on to day 12. I will see you all in the next part, everyone. Have a great day. Goodbye. A figure, a finger wingles. Oh my gosh. I think I did this last time. Without waiting for a reply, he disappears off here towards the villa. Off it towards the villa. She gets up and walks back towards the w villa. Chelsea darts a glance at <laughs> Chelsea darts a glance at Lobby. That is such a hard sentence to say. Oh my gosh! Come and give this sentence a go because for some reason my brain can't do it. Chelsea darts a glance at Lottie. They both follow you over to the fire pit. How did you do that first time? Because I'm good at reading. I was like. Chelsea dance a glass at lobby. You have to remember, I was an English teacher once. You wanna say hi? Hi. <laughs> <laughs>